Hey guys and dolls, today I'm going to be sharing with you my first tutorial using the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I love this palette. I reviewed it Thursday if you haven't already checked out my video. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just so pretty. The neutrals that are included are gorgeous. The textures are amazing. I covered this all in the review video, but I just thought I would give it another little shout out since it's the main tutorial or the main product I'm using in today's tutorial. Another thing I want to mention is that I'm filming this two days before the 4th of July. So if you hear these sounds that sounds like bombs are going off in the background, it's not the case, it's just firecrackers, it's okay. Um, just thought I would mention that because it's like, ah! This look is so flattering on anyone. I love a taupe smoky eye on literally anyone can pull this off. You might need to tweak this, that, or the other thing to make it work for you personally, but overall anyone can wear it and it's so glamorous. It goes with a gorgeous nude lip, it goes with a deep lip, it goes with anything. So just rock it. I would love to see your interpretations of this look. So go ahead and share them with me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at Vintage or Tacky. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started with this really great look. Today I'm using the Lorac, what do they call this? Uh, behind the scenes eye primer. This comes with the palette. Yeah, you can see I squeezed way too much onto my finger. So I'm like, ah, trying to make it work. I also have my eyebrow products on already. I, I usually do that before I film the video because I just think it's boring for you guys to have to watch me do my eyebrows the exact same way every time. Now, the Lorac primer I find it actually has a little bit of a whitening effect which is nice because it makes everything appear a little bit more vibrant on top and it's also a little bit sticky for a bit longer than some other primers so you want to give it a good amount of time to fully set or even just pat it out with your fingertips just to make it a little less sticky. On top of that I'm going to be applying a just a gorgeous sort of like a grey taupe base. This is called Chestnut Taupe. It's one of the scandalized eyeshadow paints from Rimmel. I'm using that paint all over the lower portion of my eyelid. It actually has a little bit of like a cooling feel, I guess, just because it's like a liquid gel kind of thing. It feels kind of nice when it's hot outside. And then I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and blending out the edges. This is gorgeous and it would be so amazing for those days when you're like, I have no time but I want to wear a little eyeshadow. Just throw this on by itself and you're basically good to go. Alright, so now I'm going to take Chrome. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid, just right over where we place the other. And it's pretty similar in color, it's a little bit deeper and a little bit browner than the base color that we used. The texture of this is just gorgeous! Using that same brush I'm going to now go in with a little bit of cool gray. And I'm just going to rock that in the outer portion of the lid just to deepen it. The great thing about this look is it's all so harmonious. Everything just blends into the other colors perfectly and it's kind of goof proof. Let's say you're kind of rushing for time and you're like, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do a whole eye look. It's sort of like, okay, the base is on and that looks fine by itself. Do I have another five minutes? Okay, let's do some eyeshadow. So it just, it's really great for those times when you're pressed for time, for busy moms, you know, early morning, all that, all that stuff. I'm just taking a clean brush and blending that out and by blending out that color it almost becomes like a brown in the crease. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to use a very small brush. You can use like a MAC 242 or this is one from V. Neal's brush line that's what I'm going to use today. And what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of chrome and a little bit of silver and then a little bit more chrome to blend the color that I want. And I'm going to place it on the inner portion of the lid. Just like very, very lightly bring it over mostly in the upper part of the inner, if that makes sense. Like I'm not trying to go onto the lid here, but just this little inner crust right here. So now I'm just using Buff on a MAC 227. I'm just using this brush to soften the outer edge. There's a motorcycle going by. So for liner today, I'm going to use black from this palette, but you could use any of these darker shades, the plum, the navy, the jade color, even the cocoa color would be so pretty for this. I'm just going to kind of go classic with the black. I like it because it's a soft black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this Ela Mosca Sealing Gel and put it on a MAC 212. Now this is a very skinny brush. This is great for doing push liner. And whenever I use an eyeshadow wet, I usually elect like one little corner of it as the wet part because when you use an eyeshadow wet it can create a crust on the on the upper surface and sort of like ruin that area but if you always grab from that one spot when you use it wet it's fine and this isn't really revolutionary obviously I could have just used liquid liner or gel liner anything like that 
but I love showing you guys different ways to use products, especially for those of you who are interested in becoming makeup artists. It's very important to know different ways to use products and get the same result or different ways to apply makeup and get a similar result because you're not always able to start in the way that you want to or you know who knows what happens you lose half your kit while traveling or there's just all kinds of disasters that can happen so it's nice to know other ways to use your makeup so to maintain a softer edge for, for an eyeshadow you know when you're cleaning up and you go up you kind of leave like, like that sharp edge if you want to maintain that soft edge go with the dry end of the q-tip and just lightly kind of roll it around so you maintain that softness. You can kind of control it better when you go from here down, whereas when you go here up, you're going to end up with a more stark line. Now I'm going to do my eyelashes. I'm just going to curl them. I'm going to go really simple today, just a little curl and some mascara. I'm not going to wear falsies, because I'm also not going to put anything on the bottom. I feel like sometimes it's nice to not put anything on the bottom just because it can make you look a little bit more awake and a little, little fresher. Then I'm just going to do a coat of mascara all over as you do. Yeah. Alright, so for my blush today I'm going to do a combination of Spellbound and Honeymoon from Makeup Geek. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put it in the Spellbound and then I place it into a Honeymoon which has glitter in it. So I'm going to knock that off pretty good to get rid of most of the glitter. But it does give me just a little bit of a glow. Because Honeymoon is a shinier color anyway, in addition to having the glitter. But it's a little bit more sheer, which is why I applied this Spellbound with it. And that's really pretty. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to start out with a lip primer. This is Max Prep and Prime Lip. And then you want to let that set in for a minute. It just needs time to sort of, you know, uh, set basically it's just like with your eye primer how we kind of like let it set in and everything you want to do the same thing with the lips so for lips today I'm going to be using the melted ruby melted lipstick from Too Faced and just smear a little on and then share it with the top lip and then scramble to find a makeup brush because I didn't have one out already okay use this one from sugar hill sugar pill <laughs> and just swish that around Then I'm going to use Max Beat Lip Liner, clean up the shape, put my mirror closer so I can see. So I'm just adding a little bit of Flat Out Fabulous to it. Let's not talk while we're applying lipstick. I just think it makes it a little more opaque and it's maybe just like a smidgen deeper. Um, and realistically, you could just use this, but I want to demonstrate that they're about the same color. Um, just the Flat Out Fabulous is more opaque because it's like a, you know, an actual pink lipstick, whereas this is a red lipstick that I'm applying very sheerly to try to get pink, if that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love, love, love the way this looks. Classic, clean, beautiful. And the best part is it's flattering on anyone. Anyone can wear a taupey gray smoky eye. It's bright eyed because there's nothing going on in the bottom so you guys can see I look like very awake and happy and peppy. The bright pink lip just looks so flattering. You could also wear this with a red and it would be a perfect classic modern pinup look with a pair of false lashes. Ooh, so glamorous. I would love to see your guys' recreation of this look. So if you want to share them with me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, it's all at Vintage or Tacky. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it. And check out my review of the Lorac Pro 2 palette if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to just be yourself. See you, bye.